Hi, I'm Ian Mehta and I'm an artist and filmmaker, also an educator. And I'm excited about this new channel, it's called Art League. My friends and family have been egging me on to create this and I'm excited for the first time to create this channel for you and show you all about drawing and painting. want you all to do at home is to first grab some items that you have around. It could be something very simple, nothing too complicated or with many angles. It could be a very simple thing. We'll be creating a still life. Then we will, um, you'll need a, a pencil or paper, whatever you have at home would, would work. As you go ahead and you learn the principles, you can get some nice stuff, nice paper and nice pencils. Before we start, I would say um, there's other measuring techniques you can use and I'll be making videos about them. There's something about the grid that you can check right here in the comments and down below you can check that out. Um, and also we can start with a gesture of the uh, still life. And I've created also a video about gestures. It's actually one of my favorite things to teach. As I mentioned before, I'll be doing a gesture. This one will be turned out more of like a gesture contour line. As you can see, I'm, I'm going through, I'm going really fast. I'm not really lifting up my pencil off of the paper that much. So I'm just trying to get everything a little bit quicker. Usually I'll do the gesture a little bit quicker. Um, on this one, I'm just going a little slow so you can see the progress when I'm looking at. But usually it's just like really fast. As you can see, my bottle's not even perfect. It's okay to not be perfect in this stage of drawing. So this is gonna be the first part of drawing that we do. In the next video, part two, we're just gonna be drawing on top of this. We'll be doing more of the measuring, as I mentioned, and we'll be doing getting more uh, accurate. But right now, it's just like putting down something on the paper. It's so important psychologically to just put down something on the paper and then move on from that. And then you want to draw lightly at first. Don't draw like this. You want to draw light at first. So when you go over it, um, it won't be hard to, if you want to erase something, you made a mistake, you can erase it easily. So drawing is all, it's all about mathematical principles. It's all about, um, I'm not, telling you it's about making math equations. It's not about that. It's more about figuring out distances between one thing or the other. Uh, for example, when you're drawing a face, you're measuring the distance between someone's eyes and, and the comparison between the distance between their nose and their eyes and their mouth and all around the shape of their face. Uh, so if you find out these distances, you can actually accurately draw a person's face and you can accurately, accurately draw anything. So what I would like to teach you is how to draw and how to find out those measuring distances using through anchor points. That's what I call it. So I'm excited to share this with you. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe um, down below and you'll get alerts about new videos that I, I'll be sharing with you as I create more. Um, there's also some new packages I'll be creating um, how to draw the face. Um, it's a five point drawing process that's very exciting and I hope you like it. And other than that, let's Let's draw.